Jason, Clear Creek Farm, how are we doing today? I thought I'd bring you guys along as I take and work on our buck barn that we're building. And we're going to build a sliding door for uh, the bucks to go in and out that we can set and uh, open up and close as the, we need them in or out. So I'm going to bring you guys along. I'm going to use two by fours today. I'm going to sandwich three two by fours together basically to uh, make a channel for some uh, half inch OSB to slide in and out, um, slide up and down on. Um, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, I'm going to take and show you as you go along here. Clamps here and stuff to hold my boards in place. When I'm going to go up against this, there's going to be a dividing wall down through here. You gotta make sure I leave enough room to overlap this 2x4 with another 2x4 and leave enough room to do that, but not too much where I end up not having enough room to be able to um, have a wide enough opening to let the bucks in and out. I'm going to want to make sure that this 2x4 is uh, level up and down so that way it makes it a little easier when I go to cut my stuff. Now we got that first board attached, we're going to come over here and we're going to put another board on this other side um, and make sure it's level as just as well as this other side here. It don't have to be perfect, but I like a little, you know, like it so it's halfway level. I tried to level these pieces of plywood before I put them in there, but. It only has to be close just so you're not going from uh, 20 inches on the bottom to 19 on the top and then you have a problem there. I kind of made these openings so I have about 19 inches in here in between these two boards. Um, it don't have to be perfect. Um, I set these uh, pieces of plywood up and these end pen boards uh, so that way I would have about a 19 inches. That's what all my other buck doors are is 19 inches. So I think there'll be plenty of room for them to go in and out. So now I'm going to measure two inches from this outside and mark me and mark. We're going to come in here and we're going to put this two by four on them, mark, them two inch marks. And then we'll run screws into this. I like to put two in each board, these cross boards, to so make sure that we have enough support especially down here on the bottom where they might be playing with them came back in here and measured that two inch mark that we were looking for the last time now we got this area where we can take and put a piece of plywood in here We'll take and go measure up a piece of plywood and we'll get it cut for in here. To give us a little gap there is measuring up about 21 and a half inches. So we're going to make it 21 inches. So that way it'll slide up and down very easily. Now we got 
got this piece cutter in here. So if we'll take and put another two by four on the outside, and then we'll take these smaller pieces and sandwich them in here so we have something to grab a hold of. And then when I go to put a pulley up over top, I'll drill a hole through this so it gives me a little bit more girth on that. So that way we're not tearing up the um, board as we lift it up and down. Now I'm gonna try to line this board, inside board up with the outside board and then we'll take and screw her in. Now we'll do the same thing to the other side. I'll get some of these shorter screws and we'll take and add these blocks on here to go up and down with. So now I got the door all working properly. I'm going to take and uh, frame out this outside edge so that way when I finish up the siding on it, it don't have a space in between here where they can hook their horns at. I decided to go with two by fours instead of something thinner in here every time I do um, they decide to get their horns in there and break them up yeah two by fours will end up breaking up over time um, especially if you got one that's a little aggressive or a little rough but the, I think the two by fours are gonna hold up way better than the one by twos or one by uh, the one by product so that's why I did what I did here with the four by fours um, and for the cost of them and the difference in price, it's not that much difference. I think I got probably $15 into this whole door. Um, great investment. It'll keep the air out during the winter time, during the storms. Um, and if we need to push them outside with, to clean pens or whatever else, we'll be able to do that. So, thank you for coming along while we take and do this little project we're working on this uh, buck barn. Um, like the video, take and comment, share, and share it to your friends. Let your friends know about what I'm doing here at Clear Creek Farm. So, have a nice day.